In today's video, we are going to be showing you how we do a lesson using the new science curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do a lesson today. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. I am a working homeschool mom of three kids and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I do a lesson using the new science curriculum from the good and the beautiful. Um, now uh, we have only done, this is our second lesson that we're going to be doing today and our first lesson was so much fun. We learned about seeds. Today's lesson we're going to be learning about garden flowers. Now guys, things can get kind of crazy with littles. So if you are in a season of life, just like I am in, where I have littles and then I have a big gap between my youngest and my oldest, maybe this curriculum would be a good fit for you. I do have a video up on my channel already showing you guys a flip through. It's very, very detailed. I show you kind of books that go along with it as well, even books that I have. And today I'm also going to share with you guys how I make it work for my older uh, son. He is in the second grade right now but he's going into the third grade. Now, if The Good and the Beautiful comes out with more units, I already have an idea of how I can incorporate my son in the sense of uh, gear towards his age level. Although I think the lessons are perfect, short and sweet, and we are learning. Uh, there is definitely things that I am learning, my oldest son is learning, and it's just been a lot of fun to incorporate all the kids together. So let me turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you kind of the books that I have I pulled out for today's lesson on garden flowers. Okay guys, so here is the um, parent guide. So this is where we do actual the lessons. And you don't have to go like in order. You can definitely just um, choose a lesson that you are interested in and do the lesson. Uh, it won't affect past lessons and it won't affect future lessons as well. Today we're gonna be doing garden flowers. Here's the lesson, how it's looking like. Now for today, we're not going to be using uh, this big book of science stories because the lesson does not ask for us to use it but uh, usually how it works is that one lesson will have the stories and then one lesson will have the movie which is around three to four minutes long give or take and you can find it online in the beginning of the um of this parent guide it tells you where you can find it super simple you can get it on your computer so uh, you can see that it's very short and simple and straight to the point, but it's been really nice so far. So we're gonna do the garden flower unit. And uh, with the garden flower unit, I did take a couple of things that I already had here in my book stash. And I have my flower study unit from The Good and the Beautiful. And I share with you guys this um, flower study unit in my, uh, in my flip through, my detailed flip through. And if you wanna see a detailed flip through of this book, make sure to check out my video. I'll link it here and I'll link it down below as well. I have this life cycle of a plant. So I just take, take this out for the kids to kind of take a look at it and we can talk about it. I have the flower game from The Good and the Beautiful. This does not come with the unit. This is just something that I've purchased in the past that just, uh, it's just a coincidence that it just works really well together. And I got some books from my, just my library downstairs in my homeschool space. I have this uh, nice little pop-up book about spring and it just has really nice little flowers in it too. So I just took it out for us just to kind of look at and for us to read. I have this sunflower house. We are the gardeners and spring after spring. So these are just the books that we're going to be reading throughout this week that go along with this lesson. Now, if you have older kids, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do and add a little bit more of a challenge for him. So in our language arts lesson, we are learning about comparative essays. Um, and that's what Nicholas is doing for his level two of language arts. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of an essay. So for this lesson 85 from The Good and the Beautiful, uh, Nicholas was learning about comparative essays throughout a couple of lessons. So what I'm gonna do with Nicholas is that we're going to be um, doing our own comparative essay on flowers. So we're gonna probably pick two different types of flowers and then maybe talk about them, do a little Venn diagram. Him, guys, I apologize, my kids are outside. <laughs> so you can hear like the uh, ATV. So I'm gonna do a Venn diagram with Nicholas. We're gonna do this together and talk about similarities and differences between uh, two flowers. And then we are going to write our uh, introduction, our 
paragraph. One paragraph will be about similarities. One of the paragraphs will be about differences and then we'll do our conclusion together. And Nicholas wrote uh, recently a essay on polar bear versus black bears. So this is his essay over here. He's not gonna do it all in one day. Uh, but it's something that we can definitely do. So incorporate your language arts, maybe be a little bit um, creative in adding how you can add your uh, older kids, because I think this is a good idea just to add a little bit of practice uh, when it comes to our older kids. So I just wanted to give you guys that idea just in case you're like, oh, how am I gonna, you know, um, incorporate my older kids this is a great way for you to incorporate them now, i'm not gonna do this for every single thing that we do but just an idea for you guys and we're definitely going to do that this week so we can uh practice more on our comparative essays i thought that was really good for extra practice one of the first things i did is that i did prepare a snack for the kids because just in case they get cranky just in case you know you know it gets a little wild i do want to make sure that i have a snack i have a one-year-old so that already puts you know, a lot of um, challenges when you're homeschooling. Uh, the season of life with a baby, toddlers, those are hard seasons. Okay, sorry guys, my son had a booger on his hand, so he was freaking out. Seasons of life, okay? So it's gonna be hard uh, doing kind of like unit studies. Unit studies can be left behind sometimes. So I'm just trying to make things a little bit easier for me and having snacks available. My daughter, we call her the paper monster, the homeschool terrorist. There's just so many different little uh, nicknames that we can give her, but it does make it hard homeschooling with littles. But I think that with this curriculum, it does make it a bit easier to include science and include uh, my youngest, but also include my oldest. So let's get into the lesson. Let's show you how we do a lesson. So disclaimer, okay? I'm gonna do a little disclaimer right now for you guys. First disclaimer, if you see in the background baskets of clothes, that's because there is. If you see dishes in the background, things not put away yet, that's because there is. And if you see books, crayons, curriculum, anything like that on my table, even Amazon returns, you're gonna see that here in the background. And kids yelling as well. Guys, if I were to wait for my house to be perfect, if I were to wait for my hair to be nice and washed and beautiful, if I were to wait for me to be able to get ready and put a full face of makeup on, um, I would never film a video. I feel like it's very hard for me to come on here and film a video and share with you guys, you know, what we're doing sometimes because you want things to be perfect. You don't want to show all this on, you know, you want it to be a clean slate. And guys, I'm a mom. I'm a working homeschool mom. Um, and days are crazy sometimes. There's days where my house can look really good, but most of the days my house is well, you know, it's lived. <laughs> and you won't find perfection here but you will find real, raw. And I just recently filmed a week in the life, and guys, you guys are gonna see real and raw there. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, um, you won't see perfection here. And um, I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. You're gonna see a lot of things in the background. So if you see a messy background, and you're wondering, why is it a mess? Well, it's real life. Just want to put up that disclaimer out there just in case you were wondering guess what we're gonna go on a flower scavenger hunt i'll give you three minutes to run around the house and find as many flowers either real flowers or in pictures as you can at the end of the three minutes i will say how does your garden grow and you will run back and tell me how many flowers you found I'd love for you to show me your favorite one. So you're gonna go around our home and you're gonna to try to find, after you guys eat a little bit more snacks. So you, you good, girl? <laughs> Everyone seems like they're very occupied with their snacks though as well. So can we put the snacks on the side? Lily will stay here, because I think even Lily has a lot of flowers on her, on her, on her uh, jumpsuit. One, two, three, what? go! Go, go find some flowers. Go find some flowers around the house. Go, go, go. The brightest sky I have ever seen. The most colorful. Wow, how many flowers did you find here? Did you find you any count for me, me Michael? How many flowers? Smile. I know I'm truly alive. 
buy flowers. And what color are the flowers? Do you know what kind of flowers these are? What kind of flowers? Are these? I have no idea either. <laughs> favorite color of your flower. If you had to choose a favorite color of a flower, what would you choose? Black. Black flower. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, oh, I mean uh, purple. Oh, purple. Okay, yeah, there's purple flowers. Which color do you like best? No. Um, I like red. Red, okay. That's nice. Okay. Flowers started growing in the wild many thousands of years ago. Okay, so now we're gonna watch a little movie. Back at the garden store with a load of bright, beautiful flowers to plant in your front yard. You are about to plant a flower garden. Invisible flower. An invisible. What about you, Michael? How would you want your flower to look like? Wow, like a, like a big blooming flower like this? Like this. Okay. I would want it to look like those eating plants. Oh, those eating plants. Okay, yeah. Some flowers are edible. I would want a carnivorous plant. A carnivorous, okay. That's what it's called. Some flowers are edible. Some flowers are poisonous. Should you ever try to eat a flower without asking a parent first? No, right? Because we saw that some of them even make you confused, right? Poisonous. But do I know what's poisonous? Yeah. No. It's, it's, it's bees. Oh, bees. Oh, yeah, the bee stings, it hurts, right? Yeah. So what kinds of flowers spread by multiplying underground instead of pollination and seeds? Do you remember? What it, bulbs, yes. Okay. This week, do you know what we're gonna do? We are going to uh, buy some flowers. Yeah, we're gonna plant some flowers out in our garden so the kids can actually do a hands-on activity. Yes, oh, we could go find some flowers too, some wild flowers. Lily, don't do that, baby. Come over here. No, no, don't do that. Are poisonous? Yeah, we have to be careful not to eat those, right? Here it says an optional activity for us to do, so it's to plant, um, go to the store and pick out some flowers. So we're gonna go to the store and you're gonna pick your favorite flower, okay, for you to plant. Want, I wanna plant them outdoors, like we find a we little tiny flower. Oh, you wanna go find some flowers? Yeah, we could do that too, but we're also gonna plant. So we're gonna go to the store, Home Depot, or maybe the garden center here, and I, then we're I going have, to- I Okay, we want to find flowers outside today? If you want to do that right now? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get ready to go outside then. It's very, very hot outside. So guys, that is the lesson. Super short and sweet. Yeah, did you, wasn't it fun? So we're going to learn about wild flowers as well. So over here, you can learn about wild flowers. So that's going to be a good lesson for us to do as well to follow up with this one. Do you like the lessons? Yeah. Yeah. Are these from the good and the beautiful? Yes. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. So would you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. What about you? Thumbs up. Good job, Lily. Thumbs up or thumbs down? No. No. Okay. Careful. You're gonna hit someone with that. Crazy go. Crazy, 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 crazy. My little flower girl. Okay. Be nice. Okay, friends. That is how we do a lesson using the new Good and the Beautiful's science units for little 
hearts and hands. We're going to continue it during the summer uh, months. I think this is a perfect curriculum for this time of year, but also even in the new year if you want to incorporate it. So I hope that this kind of helped you out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you are interested in a detailed flip through, I'm going to leave a link down below of my previous video showing you a detailed flip through uh, if that's something that you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.